let's solve the following problem by completing the square. So to do that, we want to get all the the variables on the one side and the constant on the other. So I'm going to subtract 6n from both sides. So I end up with n squared minus 6n is oops equal to negative 4. So completing the square, take half the middle term, negative 3 and squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Add it to both sides. So we can n squared minus 6n plus 9 is a perfect square. It's n minus 3 squared. Negative 4 plus 9 is equal to 5. Take square root of both sides. And what we end up with is n, oops, n minus 3 is equal to plus, uh, I made a mistake. Uh, yeah, so excuse me, it's just plus or minus square root of 5. I should have put that. And then we add 3 to both sides. So our final result is going to be n is equal to negative five, uh, square root of 5 minus, minus 3. I'm sorry, plus 3 and square root of 5 plus 3. And that's it. All right. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.